guys have taken notes on the definition of a polynomial, on some things that polynomials do not have. Um, you've learned really what their first and last names are. Things like trinomial, binomial, right? We're going to look now at the different parts of a polynomial, and this has got some vocabulary in it that should be familiar to you from earlier work. Okay, I'd like you to open to the first page of our mini book where you will see the definition for terms. Terms are the parts of a polynomial that are being added or subtracted. parts of polynomial that are being added or subtracted are terms. We are going to, as we work with this today, underline each term. And then we're going to know once we've underlined them how many terms are in the polynomial. So the things that we're highlighting now are going to be things we're going to do in our notes with some examples in just a moment. Who's heard the word term before? Okay, so coefficients. If a term has a variable, the number in front of the variable is the coefficient. We will be using our highlighter to highlight those coefficients today in our notes. Each coefficient takes a sign in front of it. If the coefficient is not written, it is an invisible one. Okay, turn the page. Constants. If a term has no variables, it is a constant. The constant takes the sign in front of it. We will be circling the constant if it exists in our polynomial. This one here we're going to actually add a little bit of notes to. Leading term. The term with the highest exponent is known as the leading term. We will label the leading term. What I'd like you to write down here, standard form, and this is not ax plus by equals c, standard form of polynomials has the leading term in front. So if we get a polynomial and we find the leading term is not in front, we rewrite it to put it in front. It's like putting a sentence in the right order. It's kind of like having a capital at the beginning. We have a specific order, we call it standard form that we like our polynomials to be in. Okay, next. Leading coefficient. The coefficient of the leading term as no, is known as the leading coefficient. We will be labeling the leading coefficient. We're going to go through and identify what these things are in an example in a moment. And finally, degree. If your polynomial only has one variable, the degree of the polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. We will label, or really we're going to make a list and identify, the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so since I already took these notes in second period, I'm going to do a mini version here. Up here is where you guys have your Freyer model. I'm using a different notebook just as an example. To the left, you have your red tab. I want you to hold your mini book here because that's where we're going to glue it when we get the glue back out in a moment. But we are going to put a polynomial here. I'd like you to put the example 15x to the fourth plus 3x to the fifth minus 2x plus 1. We're going to be looking for the number of terms we're going to identify what is the leading term what is the leading coefficient what is the degree of this polynomial
I want to make a note to myself to make stickers next year that have these things on it so you guys could just put a sticker and then we just write the numbers. It would save us time. Okay, are we ready to do some work with this polynomial? <coughs> what do you notice about the exponents? They're all positive. They're all, above three. They're all higher than three, except this one. It's not there, so it's an invisible one. Um, are they in order? The correct order or standard form for a polynomial has the highest exponent first, and then the next term has the next lowest, next lowest, until we have no, coefficient, no um, variable. So we're going to rewrite this, because right here I see our leading coefficient. I mean, our leading variable, exponent. Wow. Uh, <sighs> it's a good thing lunch is next, right? No, it's yeah. not. I have to teach another class. Anyway, 3x to the fifth should be our leading term because the coefficient or, or the um, <coughs> exponent is the highest. It's the highest power. The highest power comes first. And the confusion with this is we are so used to thinking that 15 is bigger than 3. Shouldn't that be first? We're not looking at the coefficient for the power, we're looking at the exponents for the power. So what's gonna come next? 15x to the fourth minus 2x plus one. Now that it's in the right order, we can do all the things that we said we were gonna do here. We said we were gonna underline the terms. And remember the sign that's in front of it goes with the term. How many terms do we have? Four. four. So there are four terms. We said we were going to highlight each coefficient. I have a coefficient of 3, 15. This highlighter is giving me mess. Negative 2. And then this is not a coefficient because it has no variable. What do we call this instead? Turn the page. It's a constant. And we said we were going to circle the constant if it was there. So our leading term here is 3x to the fifth power. Let's look, put that in our list. 3x to the fifth power is our leading term. What is our leading coefficient? Three. Three. The leading coefficient goes with the leading term. Yep. So this is three because it goes with this. Because it's connected to that power of five, that's what puts it right out front. My visual brain pictures this as like a train that's in the right order now, right? This is like the engine out front. And that three got pushed all the way to the front, because it's attached to that x to the fifth power. The degree of this polynomial is the highest power that we have, which is 5. So now we can name this. You guys made that list. What is the term for the first part of the name when we have a power of 5? Quintic. And what do we call this if there's three more than three terms? So the second part of its name, you can think of it as a first and last name, is quintic polynomial. Oh my gosh, it's 1107. How did that happen so fast? We will continue tomorrow. Don't glue because you guys will be late for lunch. But what